All right, we're going to go ahead and get started by using the pen tool to create some shapes. We're going to be tracing over these shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So just make sure you are in the right program or not in Photoshop. Over here, I have my layers open. I'm going to go ahead and click in this little empty place uh, to lock that layer in place. That's just going to make it easier so I'm not messing around with that bottom layer. I'm also going to go ahead and click the plus sign down here, create new layer. If for some reason you're not seeing your layers or your properties, you can go up to window and choose layers or properties. And we're going to start off with this first shape here, the triangle, which is arguably the easiest shape to do. You can grab your magnifying glass to zoom in here. You can also do control plus to zoom in and control minus to back off uh, or, or zoom out in uh, if you're using Windows. You can grab your pen tool right over here. We're going to go to Properties. And over here, you can set your fill and stroke. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just choose a color that's not white so we can see it a little better. Stroke isn't as big of a deal. That's just the outline. And we're going to simply click, 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 and then click on that first point that we did. And we're tracing over that shape. It's OK if there's a little bit of a gap there. It's just because my anchor point was a little bit uh, you know, higher up than the example. Next one, we'll click, click. So because we're creating straight lines right now, we're not clicking and holding. We are literally just clicking along to create our shape. Um, one thing that sometimes students struggle with is they do something like this, and then they're like, oh, wait, it's not working. Um, don't jump around on different points. I'm going to do Control Z here. I'll go back. So instead of doing that, you always want to travel in the same direction. So if I click here and I'm traveling counterclockwise, then I'm going to continue to travel counterclockwise. Now, I'm not clicking and holding here, which is what I need to do. I'm going to go back. All right, first point, we'll just click once and then click and hold. We're going to drag that out. Circles are incredibly difficult to do perfectly with the pen tool. So we're just going to do it, do it, do as best of job as we can right now. It kind of gives you the next curve, by the way. Go ahead and click. And then click and hold again on that anchor point. Ooh, a little bit off. That's OK. And then the last point here. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. Once again, if you need to adjust any anchor points, you can click on that direct selection tool. And here is where I can adjust my handles as well. If I need to just like fix something or move that anchor point around, I can easily do that simply by using that direct selection tool to click on anchor points. OK, let's move on to some slightly more difficult ones now. So this one is going to be pretty much all curves. So we'll grab that pen tool. I'll just click here to start, and then we'll go to this one. So click and hold. Just trying to follow that direction. Click, and I can hold this one a little bit. Here's this one. And I might actually back off a little bit here. Adjust that a little bit. Click and hold. Click and hold if necessary. Click and hold. And then it kind of joins up with that last one. Again, not a huge issue if you have some slight gaps there. It's just my anchor points were slightly different than the ones in the example. All right, next one. I'm going to start here. We're just going to start by creating my straight lines. And then this is the part that throws everybody. So again, because it's a combination of straight lines and curved, we can't just click here because it's not going to make a curve. We need to click and hold to create the curve or click and drag. That handle, little toggle handle there, should be relatively horizontal. So flat. There we go. And then it gives you that last curve where you can join up with that one. This one, we're going to have to actually drop the opacity so we can see. So we're going to start by clicking. Click, click and hold to create the curve, and it gives you the next curve. Now we're going to click, and now here's where we need to drop the opacity down a little bit. So over here under properties, we're going to just temporarily drop that opacity down, click and hold, and then we'll go to that first point we made, and we will raise the opacity back up. Very nice. All right, now we get into some more difficult, challenging shapes. These ones, you don't get the anchor points. So we're going to go ahead and use that uh, paint pen tool. And this one, we know there are curves, but there's also some points. So we're going to have to make sure we get those points in there too. Click and hold. Click and hold. That one's a little bit off, so I'm going to do Control-Z. There we 
go. Click and hold. Now, sometimes you're, you, you're not going in the right direction or the curve it's giving you isn't the right curve. So sometimes what I like to do is I'll just click on that last point I did and then it allows me to kind of st uh, start fresh. So from here, I'll go click and hold. Again, I got to drop that opacity down. Again, that's a good example here. So where it's doing that, I don't want it to be curved like that because if it's curved like that, that's not the shape I'm looking for. So I'm going to click on that last point and now I can do click and hold. That will let me start fresh with the curve that I need. And then click on that first point. Let's bring the opacity back up and take a look. It's not too bad. I am going to adjust uh, a couple of the points here. Just adjust that angle a little bit. I might even bring that anchor point in. There we go. That's pretty good. All right, now on to the fish. You can start anywhere. It doesn't really matter. This is kind of a straight line, but I'm still going to click and hold because there's a slight curve to it. Over here, click and hold. Whoops, control Z if you need to fix a mistake. And hold. Doing good. Here's a good example of that where it's giving me too severe of a curve. So I'm going to click on that point I just made. And now I can continue on. I'm going to change the color of this too so you can see it a little better because my I realize my lines are red right now. Same with the points. Lower that opacity if you need to, so you can see the rest of what you need to do. And it's pretty repetitive from here. So hopefully by these last few shapes, you'll feel a little more confident about it. A little straight line there, there we go. Raise that opacity back up. Not too shabby, all right. This one, it's really important you want to be zoomed in on. Um, this one, because that way it'll allow you to see the complete shape. So we're creating a straight line here, clicking and holding to create the curves. Straight line going up, curves over here. Music note is kind of a tricky shape just because there's such uh, thin areas. Again, if it's a straight line, you're just clicking. And if it's curved, you're clicking and dragging. Oop, a little bit off, control Z. Almost there, whoop, control Z again. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in a lot here, just so I can see that last point. Let's grab that, and then uh, join in with the last one. There we go, okay. I need to make some adjustments, so I'm going to grab that selection tool, direct selection. We're zooming in. It's very handy. Goes over there. We want to adjust that handle a little bit. There we are. A little too severe, so we'll be able to easily fix that. No problem. Awesome. All right, not too bad. Now to zoom back out, you can just go right down here. Go to like 150 or 100, or you can do control minus. All right, last two. We're almost done. This one's a little tricky because it's got some a few straight, but mostly curves. So I'll just start here, click, and then click and hold, click and hold, click and hold, and then straight line. <laughs> straight line, click and hold. And this takes practice. This takes some time to get used to it. So if it still feels weird or if you feel like you're really struggling, that's totally normal. Don't beat yourself up too much. We're not looking for total perfection here um, because if you're not used to using the pen tool, it's not going to be perfect. Whoops. But once you get more used to it, it's going to get easier and easier as you go along. And it'll allow you to create custom shapes which is super useful. You can do a lot with the pen tool. So many whoop, different things you can do. Almost there. So close. And, whoops, that was a straight line. <laughs> click and hold. There we go. I'll click on that last point. There. Let's raise the opacity back up. And last one, we have this lovely leaf. 
You should hopefully be getting it by now. I'm going to go a little faster here just because I can, clicking and holding to create all of those curves. There we are. And that is it. Don't forget to save it as an AI file by going to File, Save As. So from here, I'll raise the opacity back up, and then I'll do File, Save As, save it as an AI file.